top of your pyramid. Uh, and fashion cars. I, I like cars, so I guess I'm kind of like that. Uh, continuing, typical dress, business casual. <laughs> uh, when you're not looking, they will spread false gossip about you to engage in super trendiness. Okay, let's move on to more dangerous type, uh, the uh, sociopath. The sociopath can care less about anybody but themselves. Uh, the, their cognitive capabilities are high, moral compass chaotic, varies wildly from sanity to demonic, desired agenda, mass death, uh, worships himself, typical dress, new agey or uh, ragged clothing. I don't know. A lot of them are executives and people. When you're not looking, they will molest your daughter. Yeah. And again, this is oversimplified, but hey, everything is. So good job, Mike, on that front. Now let's move along uh, from the sociopaths to the schemers. Now, the schemers are also a lot of times sociopaths, or there's a large mix, but they enjoy, they'd rather rip you off for a quarter than make a million dollars with you. Because it's about winning. It's like a, like a rat-like competitiveness that doesn't see the larger uh, collaborative effort. Moral compass, loyal to blood and family, cares nothing about it, everyone else. Well, it's not bad to be loyal to your family, but I get what he's saying. Desired agenda, total domination by any and all means. Worships power and control, weird rituals, occultic symbolism. This is more of the vampire group. Money, typical dress, $2,000 business suit. When you're not looking, he will steal your pension. That's Mitt Romney right there in essence. And then next, we have the protectors. But remember, there's always a counterfeit of that, the nanny state, you know, letting you eat GMO and aspartame but, and living in microwave ovens, but uh, uh, does not uh, want you to uh, be able to have a soft drink if you want it. Uh, protectors, and let's go over them. Cognitive capabilities v varies widely. Moral compass follows the golden rule, often has a religious background, strong moral compass, strong sense of identity, purpose, and self-esteem. Desired agenda, ending suffering, restoring liberty, justice, peace, and giant space command bases as well, and living 5,000 years and things like that, but it's a side issue. Worships a universal force of good, God, karma, and other spiritual force. That's true. That's why they always try to doppelgang that. Typical dress varies widely. When you're not looking, they will secretly donate food to the local food bank. Well, that's yeah, pretty good. Mike Adams, always doing original, cool stuff. Uh, so great job from naturalnews.com. Glad to have you here at InfoWars Nightly News, also known as PrisonPlanet.tv. Let me give you the daily quote now in this extended transmission. The most merciful thing that a large family does to one of its infant members is to kill it. Margaret Sanger, yeah, that's the instinct I always have, a kill a little child, founder of Planned Parenthood. And by the way, when I saw these quotes and put them in Endgame, I didn't just believe it. I sent off and got copies of the letters from universities. She said, I hate these black weeds. We're going to hire blacks. We're going to act like we're liberal. We're going to be the social service net so we can kill these people. Uh, and um, you got to read these. And it's just Time Magazine comes out, Woman of the Year still, Newsweek, oh my God, she's so great. Really evil people. Don't run around wearing swastikas on their arms, okay? They run around acting liberal and trendy. It's a camouflage, and you've got to learn this. You've got to learn this. I, mean, I know you know this, but they are just so seriously disgusting. I, just, just go to your local university. Go to the biology department. Ask speak to the head person and say, do you believe there's too many people? Yes, I do. Are you a eugenicist? Well, I want to call it that, but yes. Uh, do you think we should kill most people? Yes, we should. I mean, it, it's a cult. You ask, well, how do they take over? They control the issuance of currency and credit to the central banks of the world. It's all a fraud. These private families, Rothschilds, Rockefellers. And the Rothschilds funded Hitler, for God's sakes. Some of their own family got killed by him in France. These people want power. They're attracted like a moth to flame to destructiveness. And everyone must know that we ignore this information at your grave peril. Lastly, fuel the InfoWars tanks. My sales guys come to me and they say, Alex, we're start losing money soon. You can't pay for all these new employees and crew if you don't plug products, sponsors, things like that. And, and yes, it's true. We have the best water filters, ProPure, 10% discount. Nobody else has got that. Infowars.com, Infowarsshop.com. We got 15-day free trials at PrisonPlanet.tv. Yes, we give it away for free the next day at YouTube. But they can always censor us there and do. Get the full thing, the extra tidbits that are censored, or they block here at PrisonPlanet.tv. Buy the t-shirts, the books, uh, all of it, InfoWars.com or InfoWarsShop.com. And I 
can build up a better war chest to hire more crew, have emergency backup if the enemy comes against us, which they're doing right now. All sorts of fake stuff going on behind the scenes. I won't even waste your time with because it's proof of our success. We're over the target, getting flying. I can pay my crew better, uh, and everybody can move forward here, ladies and gentlemen. So we will continue to up our game against the New World Order. We've delivered on all our promises through the grace of God and your support. Help us deliver more on those. Visit InfoWarsShop.com, InfoWarsStore.com. One day I'm like, why does I say InfoWarsShop.com? The website's InfoWarsStore.com. And it turned out both those redirect them. Learn that new things every day. I'd forgotten I'd give them that order a year ago to have both those direct that way. The point is, support us. We're not here the government with a gun to your head. You notice the government and, and corporate media, you know, that gets banker bailouts like MSNBC, they're always these patriot people that say there's a world government, even though coming up later, world government will save us. Uh, but uh, they're kooks and they just want to make money. Well, of course I want to be comfortable. But I would sell everything and live under a bridge or even die to reverse the new world order. I'm committed to that. That's a distraction. On my hierarchy of needs, human development and freedom and truth and justice and beauty are what's important. The capital is to make us strong in the face of the globalists, but they don't even use that attack anymore because it just doesn't work. I'm like, government takes money at a gunpoint, gives it to mega bankers that took control of the government, and I'm here saying, Will you pay 15, 20 cents a day, 5.95 a month to get six memberships? Oh yeah, one username and passcode can be used by six people simultaneously, so it's really more than six. I mean, will you support us? That's up to you. Two big interviews, Lloyd Chapman and then on Rand Paul, powerful interview, because we did it before the news, it's gonna be explosive, with Chuck Baldwin, who Ron Paul endorsed for president four years ago. Why didn't he endorse John McCain? Didn't Ron Paul get it? I mean, is he is he stupid like some of the Paul people are, the Rand Paul people are saying? I mean, you got to play politics. You got to make the Republicans like you. You got to make the Rothschilds like you. You got to support war and torture. And you know, he'll let us have some raw milk though. And again, I'm not hating on Rand. I want to change his course now, but I want all of us to change our course and recognize this is a co-opting happening. The consensus is in. It's above 85 to 95 percent. Know what's going on? All right, enough of that. We'll be right back. It's InfoWars Nightly News brought to you by people that care about human destiny and want society to win, that know that life is like a five-second event, our personal lives. But our ancestors go back, and our progeny, if we don't be, let the globalists destroy us, go on forever. I want to live for, forever through freedom, through you, through those that will watch this later, if we even have a future. We're fighting for the future. Obama says winning the future, he's co-opting our slogan. We are going to win the future. We are going to win it for reality. The reality, preservation, society. We'll be right back. of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research and the best gravity filter out there bar none is ProPure and it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require Require electricity, purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. And we're back here on this Wednesday edition of InfoWars Nightly News. We're going to have a frequent contributor to the show over the years. Uh, join us here in a moment, Lloyd Chapman. He heads up the American Small Business League. And then we're going to be joined by the Constitutional Party candidate, endorsed by Ron Paul over John McCain in 2008. We're going to get his take on Rand Paul endorsing 
Mittens Romney. We're going to be talking to uh, Chuck Baldwin coming up next here on this extended edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Uh, Lloyd Chapman's got some breaking news for us today. That's why he joins us. Lloyd, uh, great to have you back. Haven't been on in a few months. For new viewers or people who aren't familiar with you, uh, you've exposed some pretty big uh, elephants in the room. Describe what your organization does and the laws that are out there that, hey, government contracts should go, part of them to small businesses, certainly American businesses, but that's not happening. You've discovered blacklist where, where small businesses aren't allowed to get it illegally. I mean, this, this is massive because it's one thing to have a big government and argue the American system, it gives contracts. Uh, well, that's always been a danger because then that system becomes corrupt, obviously, and you've been spearheading this, and now there's a lawsuit dealing with it. So recap it for five minutes for laymen out there like myself, and then expand into all the new developments. All right. Well, uh, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, small businesses create over 90% of all net new jobs. The Coffin Foundation did a study about two years ago that said that small businesses have created 100% of all the net new jobs since 1980. That means that Fortune 1000 corporations haven't created one net new job in 30 years. So here we are in the middle of the worst economic downturn in, in 80 years. And there's a federal law, the Small Business Act, that was passed around 1953 that says that 23%, a minimum of 23% of all federal contracts should go to small businesses. Well, that's a good idea. It was actually, I think, one of the most effective economic stimulus bills ever passed by Congress to direct 23% of government spending to the small businesses where most Americans work, that generate most of the gross domestic product, uh, over 90% of the net new jobs, uh, over 90% of U.S. exports. If you're trying to create jobs, you've got to give the money to the people who create the jobs, not small businesses. Well, here's what we uncovered about 2002. Uh, I found out uh, in 2002 by going through the government's database of small businesses, I discovered hundreds of the biggest companies on earth, not just Fortune 500 firms in the U.S., but some of the largest companies around the world were getting small business contracts. So as opposed to the 23% that the, the middle class of small business was supposed to get, they're getting maybe 2%. And there've been a dozen federal investigations have come out. The SBA Inspector General in 2005 said um, that the diversion of federal small business contracts to large corporations is one of the largest challenges facing the Small Business Administration and the entire federal government. And so the American Small Business League uh, works every day to try to get the government to simply quit giving small business contracts to Fortune 500 firms here in the U.S. and some of the largest companies around the world. And, um, of course, they, they fight back pretty pretty powerfully. Well, sure, here's an example. Uh, but, uh, I saw this a few years ago. J.P. Morgan has one of the biggest contracts to administer welfare checks, Social Security, and the phone help numbers, and it turns out that's been outsourced to India. I mean, my God, we should make these people on welfare go get jobs, you know, phased in, answering the other recipients' calls. I mean, this is crazy, but it's not really because there's a larger program with Agenda 21, the regulations, arresting the Amish, going after people with lemonade stands. The multinational corporations that have taken over the world, they don't want small businesses anywhere. I mean, that's the enemy, and, and you're one of the only groups out there, because you never hear about this issue in the media anywhere, no. saying, hey, the contract should go to American companies, and they should go to small businesses. And so, again, t last time you were on, you exposed your big discovery uh, that there's a secret blacklist. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, they were, they were going to um, come up with a blacklist where they could secretly blacklist those small businesses that they didn't want to work with, and they were going to exempt it from the Freedom of Information Act. This sounds like something, you know, from a science fiction movie, but we exposed that and, and shut that down with your help, by the way. And uh, the things that go on are just really unbelievable, but you're right, the mainstream media won't cover it. So, um, uh, so you're a treasure, your group's a treasure. Before we get more into this, it's time for small businesses who are so busy just trying to compete and keep this country going to spend some time getting involved with you and others. What can small businesses do? How do they support you? How do they join? But what else can they do uh, to expose this? I mean, small businesses uh, instinctively know to put up signs saying, USA, small business, we need to patronize those. But what else can we do? Well, small businesses need to realize that most of the groups, in fact, I'll say every group that I know of 